Signs in Hazilla. Kate Middleton brightens up a cold January day in floral Erdem dress. It's only January, but more than a few of us are ready for spring, and that seems to include Kate Middleton. The Duchess of Cambridge wore a vivid floral print by one of her favorite designers, Erdem, as she stepped out with husband Prince William. Kate looked radiant in the Erdem Evita dress to attend a briefing for the Heads Together campaign she launched with William and Harry. The pretty silk dress features a bold floral print in yellow, blue and berry hues and retails for £1,050, about $1,292, on the brand's website. The material makes the piece, it is matte lace, providing a textured background that adds dimension while also serving as the perfect backdrop for the multicolored flowers sprayed across the garment. The dress is lined in 100% silk, and it was made in Portugal. While this is a new number for the Duchess, she has a long-running love for Canadian-born designer Erdem, regularly wearing dresses and coats from the brand, most recently for a day of engagements in Manchester. Erdem moved to the capital in 2000 to study fashion at the Royal College of Art, having interned for Vivian Westwood, before working alongside Diane von Furstenberg. He set up his own London-based brand in 2005, and his designs have been worn by a number of celebrities such as Kate Blanchett, Marion Cotillard, Emma Watson, and Jessica Chastain, to name but a few. He's become renowned for his vibrant prints and use of delicate textiles and Kate always looks stunning in his feminine creations. She has worn one of Adam's dresses or coats on just about every royal tour she's been on, for a gala dinner and even during her second pregnancy. The designer is clearly one of the Duchess's favorites. Here is a quick rundown of the many Edem pieces Kate has worn, the two dresses worn in Canada during the 2011 North American tour, Elsa Seal, R. Jacinta, the bespoke silvery grey embroidered dress for Trooping the Color Piece 2012, the modified version of the Merrill dress worn in Singapore on the 2012 tour, and the Sophia dress, worn for a 2013 school visit to Manchester. Kate accessorized with her trusty Mulberry Bay's water wallet clutch. She also wore her Todd's leather fringe buckle pumps. She also wore her gold disc button earrings by Oscar de la Renta. Kate's hair was down and styled in loose curls. Her brunette locks are her crowning glory, but the princess took things to a new level together as she showed off a very bouncy blow dry. Kate's hair was looking especially voluminous as she arrived at the Eco with Princes William and Harry to give a rare joint speech on the issue of mental health. It seems she may have treated herself to a New Year makeover at the hair salon as her locks appeared significantly bouncier and thicker than they did a few weeks ago, when she visited a scout troop in Norfolk. Speaking at the event, Kate said, William, Harry and I have been very privileged to witness in the course of our work countless examples of simple conversations that have changed lives, which were the first step on a path to recovery. Mental health matters to each and every one of us. It matters just as much as our physical health, he said. After making impassioned speeches on the topic of mental health to an audience of celebrities, journalists, charity workers and businesses leaders at the Institute of Contemporary Arts overlooking them all. The trio chatted to TV personalities who will be running the marathon for eight mental health charities. They were joined at the reception by Heads Together supporters including Rio Ferdinand, who has previously spoken to Prince Harry about bereavement, Channel 5 presenter San Williams and Good Morning Britain presenter Sean Fletcher.